Welcome to another I2R Tech Lighting Solutions tutorial video. The Moving Head Controller 2.0 can be set up under a few different modalities. Uh, modalities are functional behaviors, and each one of the six available light groups can be set up as one of these modalities in a mixed configuration fashion. The simplest modality of them all is the sliders mode. In this mode, the controller mimics a simple DMX controller or DMX board, as some calls them. In sliders mode, the joystick is not used and so it's not functional. And the follow spot mode buttons for the lights fixture 1 through 6 have no effect here either. The sliders mode is best used to control simple devices such as a static LED light, a smoke or fog machine, bubble or snow machine, and a firework machine. The other two modalities are best suited for moving heads, where the sliders are custom mapped and the joystick controls the light's aiming direction. For the second one, pan and tilt modality, the joystick controls the pan and tilt angles of the light directly, one light at a time. And the sliders control all the other functions. The pan and tilt modality is best used in three types of applications. One, spot lighting. This is where one or more lights are used to spotlight static targets such as a cake on a wedding or a birthday party, the sweetheart table, uh, a big portrait, the drummer on a stage, a statue on a church, a car on a dealership, a product on display in a trade show, or the lobby of a corporate office, etc. Two, gobble projection. This is where the light is used as a monogram projector on a static location or moving from wall to wall, ceiling to floor, etc. 3. Custom light shows. The lights come with preset macros that can be used as pseudo-random light shows. But sometimes it is required to make a customized light show with specific gobos and colors aiming at specific directions. This modality allows for a fully customized show making. The last modality is the follow spot modality, which is best used in applications where a moving target needs to be followed with one or more lights at the same time, using just a single joystick. Applications such as introduction of people making a grand entrance, father, daughter or first dances, an artist or performer on a stage, a person delivering a speech, a model on a catwalk, etc. In this video, we explain the sliders mode modality. The sliders mode is saved in the internal memory as one of the several available libraries or mappings, and it can be assigned to any and all of the six available light groups. The controller comes pre-programmed out of the box with the sliders mode assigned to the light group number three. To activate it, the lower button of the light group with the assigned sliders mode must be active or blinking. In sliders mode, each physical slider controls a DMX channel in left to right ascending order. For example, if the first slider controls DMX channel 1, the second slider will control DMX channel 2, and so on for all 14 sliders. To demonstrate this sliders mode, we will use a common LED light connected to the controller wirelessly on the preset light group 3, making sure that we match the light's DMX address to the light 3 group DMX address, that is. Looking at the DMX chart for this light, we see that for DMX address 1, 
We control the light dimmer with the first slider, DMX channel 1, and we control the colors red, green, blue, and amber with sliders 5 through 8. That's everything there is to it. That's simple. If we need to control a light on a different DMX channel, other than one, we will have to match the assigned DMX channel number on the controller to the DMX address on the light. To do this using the help of the provided GUI, we navigate to the tab Edit, Light Parameters Management, and we select the light group that we want to modify. Uh, in this case, light group 3. Then we type the new DMX address in the Assign DMX Address text box. Click Close and we're done. And again, this can be done in any of the six available light groups. Thank you for watching this tutorial. And don't forget to watch the entire series to get a good grasp of all the potential and different possibilities for the Moving Head Controller 2.0.